If you are tired of your Android smartphone or tablet killing specific applications in the background, then I can show you how to change the core system settings that allow it to run without being unexpectedly closed. Android's background services can be incredibly brutal when it comes to letting apps and services run in the background. And this is compounded by additional optimization services that OEMs end up adding to their firmware that locks things down even further. This ends up causing all sorts of issues because there are some applications that just need to run when they are not in the foreground. So let me show you the main setting that you need to find that allows you to grant specific apps the ability to run without fear of getting killed. But I do recommend that you stick with the video through to the end so that I can go over those OEM optimizations as well. The main way of setting an application up so that it doesn't get killed in the background happens within the app info page. And we can access that in a few different ways. An easy method is to find the application icon that you want to customize, perform a long press gesture on that app icon, and then tap the eye icon that you see in the pop-up. This will take you to the app info page that I'm talking about. On the other hand, you can also dive into the settings application, find the apps menu, show all of your apps that you have installed, finding an application that you want to customize, AKA the app that you want to allow to run in the background. And then you're brought to that same app info page for that specific app. Now, when you get to this screen, you're gonna to wanna to look for the app battery usage option. And this can be named a few different things from battery to battery usage to app usage. Just look through this list and check for the one that talks about app battery usage. And on this page, you're gonna see a single toggle here which controls the app's ability to run in the background or not. This likely will be enabled by default, but if you do notice that it's off, you can turn it back on with a quick tap. But many people fail to realize that you can actually tap into this text area of that setting. And this will bring you to an entirely different battery option because even if you're allowing an application to run in the background, like you are here, that does not make it immune to Android's background service killing feature. These are two separate features that can be handled in different ways. Android will have your apps set to optimized by default, but to make sure that this specific app will not get killed in the background, you need to change that over to unrestricted from here. For some devices, you're done after you change this setting because they rely on Android to handle all of those battery optimizations. But sadly, just about every smartphone OEM out there has implemented their own rules on top of what is already in place. For example, you go and check Sony in this list. Then you can see that Sony has a feature called stamina mode and a power saving feature that controls when apps are put to sleep. In Motorola, they have their own setting that's separate from what we already changed called improve battery while inactive. And for the average person, these additional optimizations is actually a preferred feature because it helps poorly optimized apps from draining your battery. But there are some of us who have specific applications they need to run on their device without worry that they will be killed unexpectedly. 
health applications are a great example here because they need to be running in order to collect your activity data, but they are hardly ever launched into the foreground to specifically collect said data. Automation apps are another example here, as options like MacroDroid and Tasker also need to be in the background to listen for those triggers that you have set up. So for anyone who is having trouble getting Android applications to stay running in the background, even after you made the change that I showed you here today, I recommend you check this website, don'tkillmyapp.com, and I'll be sure to include this link in the video description below, as well as the pinned comment here. In some instances, it can feel a bit outdated when it comes to the screenshots and some of the names of the features here, but overall, it does a great job of showing you where to look for each OEM that sells Android phones right now. I kind of understand why smartphone manufacturers choose to implement additional battery restrictions in their firmware. I'm not happy that we need to hunt through mountains of different menu options for each company out there. And it's a bit annoying to see companies adding in multiple ways of killing apps in the background. But at least we do have the ability to customize our phones so that the applications we need are actually able to function properly. I would just like to see there be some uniformity with something like this. We shouldn't have to know which OEMs add more restrictions, and we shouldn't have to hunt down all of those toggles since they're hidden in different places for different phones. But let me hear what you think about how your smartphone handles apps in the background. I'm really tired of typing in a bunch of text into one app, switch to another app so that I can grab some additional information, and then come back to that first app only to see that it has been reloaded due to it being killed in the background. And that erases all of the text that I had just typed into it, not even five seconds earlier. Now, I wanna thank you for sticking with me through to the end of this video. It really means a lot. And if you could, please remember to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well for more Android tips like this.